As I said before, some blacksmiths, who forged samurai swords and spears, turned to chisel and plane blades, because the skills of the swordsmith were no longer in demand by society at the end of the samurai period. So today I'm gonna show you how to use some carving chisel, carving knife, and smoothing planes. Even among carpentry work, the work of carving is today a unique world performed by specialized craftsmen. They select their tools from among more than 80 tools of about 10 types of carving chisels and carving knives according to the work. This is a V chisel called Tataki Nomi. This is a gouge, called Marunomi. It's a chisel used for carving curved surfaces. The bent shallow gouge is used as if scooping out a recessed area. This is a type of carving knife, called Magari Kiridasi or bent knife. Carving knives are used by gripping the handle with one hand and always using it together with the thumb or index finger of the other hand.
This is how the carvings of buildings are completed. Planes are known to have the most variety of all carpenters' tools. The planes you see here with the same shape are all smoothing planes, but the way you use each is different. If we take a look at just the roughing plane, intermediate smoothing plane and polishing plane. Each one has a different amount of blade protrusion and mouth opening. The way of making the stock straight differs for each one too. When planing pillars and other items you pull the plane over. A roughing plane is designed so that the toe and heel of the sole and the cutting edge touch the wood. Everywhere else floats above the wood. An intermediate smoothing plane touches the wood in four spots. A polishing plane touches the wood in three spots but usually front of the sole floats. When we say float, we mean only by a tiny amount about the thickness of a sheet of paper. As for other smoothing planes, there's the preliminary roughing plane for quickly removing thick pieces of material, the jointer plane, the small block plane, and so on. Before you begin, you look for war page in the wood. You also adjust the plane's blade and sole. If these are not adjusted properly, then you can't plane well. When planing, first you remove the war page at the ends of the wood. A roughing plane is normally used in removing war page. A preliminary roughing plane, or scrub plane, is used to quickly remove thick pieces of material. Next, you use the roughing plane to remove surface unevenness and make a generally flat surface. The intermediate smoothing plane removes interlocked grains and any cutting non-uniformity generated by the roughing process. and creates an even smoother, 
flatter surface. A jointer plane is designed with a long sole, which means it can plane a flay surface more precisely than a normal smoothing plane. A polishing plane is used on the jagged grooves of lintels. A fine polishing plane is used in making high quality work and it's used to bring out the polish of the material after the polishing plane is used. A small block plane is a kind of smoothing plane. As you can see, a small block plane is used to chamfer lintels and sills and for fine planing after joints have been joined. Planing is said to be an especially difficult part of carpentry. Only once you have adjusted the blade and sold to the type of wood, you'll be planing. And you have a carpenter's skill, can you amazingly thin wood shavings? <laughs> 